supervisory service proposal. Hearing none, is there a motion? Yes, a motion to approve the Baker Tilly proposed financial services and the property tax assistance. Second. Motion is second. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Next item, county police request approval of radiology technician agreement. Peter J. Agostino, attorney at law, 131 South Taylor Street, South Bend, Indiana. And so before you is an agreement to hire a radiology technologist uh, under a contract for services. This was a position that was originally set up as a, an employee position, um, but due to some change in circumstances within the jail and, and some and looking at the budgeting set up basically in terms of how many hours was this person actually needed. Uh, it turns out that doing it by contract this way ends up costing less money and works better within the jail's um, system there for providing medical care. So they want to hire uh, this employee as a technologist under a contract for services. There's a, a fund already set up for that. And I think there's going to be coordination with Patty at the commissioners to at some point, if that money that's left that was allocated to the employee account, that'll get transferred into the services account. Um, I don't think that needs to be taken care of right now, but at least approving the agreement for these services, that's, that's where we're at. Any questions or comments? Mr. Thomas. Yeah, thank you, Council. Thank you, Council, for bringing this forward. And it's just another continued step in the process of updating and modernizing the medical supply staff in the, the jail. Yes. Thank you. Any questions or comments? Is there a motion? Motion to approve the agreement for the radiology <coughs> or hiring the radiology technologist. Second. Motion is second. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Thank you, Barrister. All right, infrastructure planning and growth. First item is the consent agenda. I will note Beacon Health System 2020 Sunburst and the PHM Educational Foundation 2020 Silver, Silver Mile Event 5K Run for Education on the agenda. Any questions or comments? Commissioner Thomas. I'm sure Commissioner Fleming is thinking the same thing I and you and everybody else in the room regarding the, the virus issues and about all these people together. Uh, I guess I recommend we we uh, approve it tentatively but these bodies may want to cancel it just like people are canceling fish fries, yeah. you know, unfortunately. But if it's, you know, we want to hamper them if we can't. I mean, it's raising funds for the children's hospital and students. And with all this e-learning, they're going to probably need more money. So I, I would recommend we uh, we pass them, but with the caveat that uh, we realize that uh, these bodies may reconsider and not perform these these uh, fundraisers. Yeah, I think that, that's a concern I had too. That I think we should have approved this, but then, you know, there is a possibility that they may have to cancel it. So, but it's not that I wouldn't like running with them. Just <laughs> may not be able to. But anyway. Any other questions or comments? Is there a motion? Uh, there is a motion to approve this consent agenda. Second. Motion to second. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Next item. Mr. President? So, yes. I'd make a motion that uh, the next item is B through G. Through G. Uh -huh. uh, because they're all of a similar nature, could be presented by Madam Engineer in one conversation with her ailing hand. And uh, so stuck from the ty carpal tunnel syndrome of being a mouse, and uh, and that would be voted on in one motion if that's right, Councillor and the other commissioners. Yep. Thank you. I was exactly going to suggest that. Good job. Okay. Ms. Clark. I appreciate that. Good morning, Jessica Clark, County Engineer, uh, Department of Infrastructure Planning and Growth, with offices on the fourth, seventh, and eleventh floors of the building. So before you are our 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 annual bids for the 2020 season. We have our liquid by two minutes materials, uh, which we recommend that all bids be accepted so we may purchase from the low better depending on availability. We have the miscellaneous aggregates where we recommend purchasing uh, from the low better depending on availability based on the bid tabulation. Our drainage pipe structures, guardrail and bridge materials. Again, we recommend that all bids be accepted except American Timber Bridge as they did not submit a valid bid bond. And this again would allow us to select from the lowest available bidder during the project design phase of any structure that we need to build in 2020. For the bituminous patching, we recommend that we 
accept all bids and purchase from the low bidder based on availability. For traffic paint and signage materials, uh, we recommend that the paint and bead items be awarded to Ozark Materials as the lowest and most responsible bidder and Osborne Associates as the lowest and most responsible bidder to supply signs. We recommend accepting all bids additionally within the paint and the sign areas to again, depending on availability and shipping and handling costs purchased from the lowest bidder. And that is the last one. And thank you. Any questions or comments regarding any of these items? Is there a motion? There's a motion to approve all these, accept all these bid awards. Uh, I second the motion to approve uh, items B through G on the agenda. We have a motion to second. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Next bid request RNS 92001D 1 Community Crossings Matching Grant Maintenance Asphalt Overlay Program. Yes, we're requesting you approve the notice to bidders for advertisement of this project on Friday, March 20th and Friday, March 27th with a bid opening on April 7th. This will be our 2020 Community Crossing Matching Grant application, the roads that we have previously applied for and we look to hear for an accessible award in April. So per this program, we are able to go ahead and bid this project, but we would need to wait to award it until we know that we've successfully received the grant to then be eligible for that 50-50 grant. Questions or comments? Is there a motion? Yes, a motion to approve this Mayflower Road Bridge um, trail and structure number 197. Okay. Or that, yep, a motion to pass time. the bid request for the community right, crossings yeah. matching well, that's grants. that's true on March 20th and March 27th and then get it on, uh, yep. what you say, yeah. on April 21st. I second the maintenance request. Yeah. We have motion to second. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Next up, request for proposal structure number 196 Mayflower Road Bridge over Ardmore Trail and structure number 197 Mayflower Road Bridge over NS and NICTI Railroads Federal Aid Project. Yes, before you are the request for proposals for these two projects. One is a locally funded project, the other is a federally funded project. However, the two structures are adjacent to one another, so we'll want to design and construct them at the same time to minimize disruption to our traveling public. Uh, we recommend that these be advertised again on March 20th, March 27th, and that we receive the letters of interest for consideration on April 21st. Any questions or comments? Is there? That'd be great to do this work at Mayflower Road. No more questions or comments. Is there a motion? Motion to approve this advertisement on March 20th, 27th, and the letters for come on April 21st. Second. Motion to second. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Finally, we have a request approval of change order number two, BLDG 12-2018-E, County City Complex Elevator Modernization. Frank Potia with the Department of Infrastructure Planning and Growth with offices on the 4th, 7th, and 11th floor of this building. Before you is a change order to the contract for the um, elevator modernization. We, um, The building director, uh, Brian Davidson, met and I met with representatives from Schindler a couple weeks ago, and they informed us that due to the COVID-19 outbreak, in China, their supply chain was interrupted. It's a Schindler plant in China. They can't get the pr um, parts sourced elsewhere. They are hopeful that they will be able to get parts sooner rather than later, but they asked us to extend the deadline for them to complete the work to <coughs> December of next year, which is a one-year extension. They also assured us that any increase in cost due to the delay will not be passed on to the county and that Schindler will absorb those cost increases. Questions or comments? Commissioner Thomas. I'm certainly glad that there's no additional cost that, um, like in the previous meetings, like Zilkowski Construction was adding management costs for delays and changes. And I certainly must respect an act of God, uh, and I'm sure that's usually put in many clauses. So as an act of God, our elevators repairs will be delayed. Any other questions or comments? Is there uh, a I, I just have a comment that I'm disappointed it's going to take so long to fix those elevators, but um, hopefully it'll get done quickly. So thank but you so much. Yeah. Any other questions or comments? Is there a motion? Motion to approve change order number two for the building 
for the E-County Complex Elevator Modernization. Second. Motion to second. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Thank, Thank you, you, Frank. Thank Moving you. on to old business. Seeing none. Public comments. Are there any public comments? Mr. Thomas. Yeah, just to re remind our citizenry that uh, to be good neighbors, you know, follow the rules. I mean, this is not even what did Churchill say about uh, the Battle of Britain? It's not the end of the beginning. It's probably not even the end of the beginning. You know? Well, actually, that was the end of the beginning. But we are still in the beginning of this, so people need to be patient and respectful of each other. Check on the elderly and the handicapped. Thank you. Also, um, from a county department standpoint, Human Resources and the Board of Commissioners will be issuing some guidance to different county departments moving forward forward as we enter into um, kind of unprecedented territory um, as to how to run operation of county services and other things. So that will be coming by the end of the day. And I just want to make sure that we continue to serve our citizens and help them as much as we possibly can. So hopefully we yeah. can make the right decisions to do that for sure. Thank you. And remember to respect the, the, the medical issues. And if you think you have the flu, don't rush into the hospital and contaminate it, you know. Be respectful of the police fire ammo workers so that they can they can survive to serve another person. There are no more public comments. Motion to recess is in order. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Tough luck. We are recessed. How you doing, baby? So, Mr. Hammond, do you, do you want to? Um,